Still can't believe he got no refrigerator, man. This sucks, bro. No. What? I would imagine you still do. Oh. If you learn how to be humble, then you gonna have one, bro. CJ so cool is not as not it's not humble no more. He just let all this stuff. I really want to go off, but I don't want to go off because. I don't know. He just need to humble himself. He he just need to humble himself. That's all I gotta say. Que como, cuando y donde, tú siempre me responde. Quizá, quizá, quizá. I got you stuck off the realness We be the infamous, you heard of us Official Queensbridge murderers The mob comes equipped for warfare Beware of my crime family Who got enough shots to share for all those Who wanna profile and pose Rock you in your face, stab your brain with your nose Yo, 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 yo What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, you wanna see me? I'm back with another reaction video Yo, I know it's night time. It's Thursday night. I ain't drop a video for Throwback Thursday today. Because I had to take a little break. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm back with another video for Reaction Friday. You know what I'm saying? Reaction Friday. You know what I'm saying? Today's video I'm going to be reacting to CJ So Cool, Dream Home, Turn, Nightmare. Now we out to move. DJ so cool. He does have a lot of stuff. Been, a lot of bad stuff that's happening. That's all happening to him out of nowhere. But I feel like CJ so cool. He just got cocky. He is not the same CJ so, so cool that I used to watch years ago. You know what I'm saying? He just, I don't know. He just not the same no more. You know what I'm saying? Some of you guys in my comments has asked me to react to uh, CJ so cool through video. You know what I'm saying? Get my thoughts and opinions about this video, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, if I can give a thumbs up, if you want to give a thumbs down, okay, I know why I went okay, just for two. If you want to see more reaction videos or any other videos, see me make sure you guys go on my channel and check out my videos. If you do like my videos on my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? Also, don't forget to turn your post in case you press on the fact it's when I post it in. That's not forget to follow my social media right here, right here, right here, you know what I'm saying? That's if you want to follow me, you know what I'm saying? But what that friend do? Let's get straight into this video. I don't, I don't know. As you can tell from the title, guys, this is obviously not a good video. We My see. house is turning into a freaking nightmare. So Like the, uh, the 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 intros and shit. It's like you watching the, the TV show. You know what I'm saying? You got all the kids. Jalea. Um, uh, what's the mahogany? I don't know. I know. I know. Jalea. And that's the only one I remember so far. I forgot what the boy name. But let's get back to this video. Insane. Is though he made this shit all that this for it's for YouTube, you know what I'm saying? That's a big ass. He got all that shit from YouTube. That's YouTube money, man. He ain't got no other source of income. That shit, that's inspiration, you know what I'm saying? That's how we trying to ground, trying to ground hard, you know what I'm saying? One day I'm gonna be that. I'm gonna be up there. I'm telling you, y'all gonna remember? Y'all gonna be like, damn, I remember him from YouTube. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to this video. 
I'm fresh like a coffin. Don't test my dog's name. Hey. Well, it's time to a pack of cool kids. It's your boy. See, this is going on. Back again with another video. And today is not a really good day, guys. Because you already know what happened to Jalea. She was freaking crying. Pause. His, the way how he talking, it just looks like he is so concerned. I don't know. Let's get back to this video. The school overwhelmed her. And I already said it, man. If it was me, I would embrace it. I would love it. I would be at school, running at school. Literally, that's just me personally. But it's probably a lot of you, too, that feel that way. But that's because of the way I grew up. Jalea didn't grow up that way, all right? We sheltered our kids, and that's how you're supposed to do your kids. You're supposed to shelter them. You're not that's supposed right. to let them out in the streets, having them all out there acting wild and crazy. That's just what y'all kids be doing at the school. When you send your kids to school, what is the purpose of doing that? So they can go and learn. Duh. No one should be at school. Pause, though. The schools... That stuff don't teach you real life lessons and shit. They're just trying to... School don't teach you stuff that you need after school, like when you get out of school. All the stuff they teach you, you don't really need to learn that. It's so crazy, I wish I knew what I know now about school back then, you know what I'm saying? All this shit, and they whole education, they, they don't teach us nothing. That we'll, man, get on. Let's go back to this video. Look at the cloud. That's just what they doing. Pulling out their phones, talking about some Jalea. Let's take a picture. What do you mean? I didn't send Jalea to school to go take pictures. This is not a meet and greet. This is not a concert. I don't care what you her. say. Yeah, I know we only famous on YouTube. It doesn't matter. When Jalea woke up in that school, it's like she on MTV or something. They don't care. They're all over it. Trying to get videos, trying to get pictures. And the girl simply only wants to learn. My kids go to school to learn. Your kids, now I ain't talking to everybody, obviously. But the people who I am talking to, your kids go to school for clout. And that's crazy. And then they should be at school trying to learn. Put them books to them faces and use that big old bookshelf on their head they got for learning instead of trying to get clout. Anyway, I'm tired of hearing that. Damn word, all that. I'm tired of hearing that question. Shit. Should we move or not? A lot of people can't even comment because for some weird reason, YouTube disabled my comments again. But I can't even say for some weird reason. I literally know what it is. They're doing that to protect the kids. School then started back, and obviously on someone's channel on YouTube, the comments started back as well. Yeah, I just, I know. Was that because my homie Trey Satori, my homie Trey, Satori my G on YouTube, he on his other channel, they just they blocked him his live because he had his son on his live. Yeah, YouTube, they getting strict with their rules. You, you can't have your kids on any, no, no type of kids on your page, or they gonna do some shit to your page. Let's go back to this video. As well, not just any type of comments, the negative comments. It ain't even about saying negative things. If I have an opinion and you guys disagree with my opinion, that's perfectly fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. That's but true. when people start getting technical, saying things like, ooh, those legs look sexy, and they're talking about a seven year old, that's kind of creepy. And YouTube doesn't deem that advertiser friendly, guys. Advertiser friendly basically means ads can go on the video. If someone's in the comment section being inappropriate, then YouTube won't place ads on that video because then they will have to get in a big old fight with this company saying things like, oh, you support child predators, huh? Things like people in the comment section being weird. That stuff is real, man. So, anyway, moving forward, I know the comment section don't work, but that's why. Well, he said he, he is not lying because they do that shit to my child. Like, like, I be feeling some, it's like you can't speak the real, like, hold on, nah, it's like, YouTube, they be demonetized some of my videos where I be speaking the truth. I be like, what the fuck, because I'm, I'm speaking the truth, you know, they just, they just, they just gonna be monetized. YouTube just got so strict, like, damn, like, you can't say what you want to say on this motherfucking platform no more, I'm like, damn. But I'm still gonna do it though. But, but let's get back to this video. A lot of people that just creep it. They got no home training. And it starts when you're in middle school. If you don't have home training in middle school, what do you think you're gonna do when you grow up? And you know what's weird? It's probably not even adults being weird like that. It's probably some kids trolling. Anyway. But my, my, the thing is, home, home training starts from at home, not school. What the fuck? 
That don't make sense though. What he just said, that don't make no type of sense. How the fuck you get home train home train from from school? You mean the kids that's at school is not home train? What? Let's go back to this video. More of the story is take care of your kids and not just by sending them to school, putting clothes and shoes on their back, but actually raise them. Give them the guidelines that they're gonna actually need to make it through life because that's why a lot of people actually get shot at by the police. They don't have home training and that's a simple fact. Why have been distracted because- But not, that's not always true though. It be the most, some of the most innocent people get shot by the police. So what you talking about, CJ so cool? The one, like the ones, look, the ones that do don't that don't have home training, like the white people, to, for instance, they don't get on home fucking train. They just going around the school shooting motherfuckers up. So, so what, what, what you trying to say? And they, and they don't get shot up. I don't agree with anything that that you saying right now. But let's see about this video. Family is back. They was at the grocery hey. store. Here's Jalea, man. Let's ask her for herself. Jalea, how you doing? You doing okay? Yeah. How was school, man? Let us know she what you so be big. thinking when you actually in school walking through the hallway. To make it to the next class on time. See what I'm saying? I tried to explain to the camera. All uh, my kids go to school for is to learn. They don't be thinking about nobody talking about some kid. I get a picture. Now, hey. Nation, on the other hand, when she popped up at Jalea's ah. school, she had a photo shoot. She wanted it. Well, guys, as you already know, we're having such a bad day that. I don't even know what could make things better. Especially yeah, he don't sound genuine when he's right saying now. that. Psych! Cause it's Taco Tuesday! Thank you so much, Grandma. I don't know if anyone recorded it, but I doubt it. Thank you so much, Royalty, for cooking us Taco Tuesday. What is today, Jaleel? Wow, she's eating. What's today, Nation? Whoa. What are you looking at? There's literally no one over there. Leonidas, what's the name, my man? Huh? Who did it the funniest? Well, let's see how royalty does it first. What's today, boo? Tostada Tuesday. Tostada? Wait a minute, I didn't get a good look at mine because I had a napkin on. Where's the tacos, man? The Dorito ones. You're supposed to keep it the same, man. You ain't got no tradition. You just switch up everything on us. Lola, what's today? Bruh. Good morning, Leonidas. What's up, my dog? Wait, you, you, you done? You made a lunch? Yeah. What up, Nation? What up, Jalea, girl? Wait, what y'all eating today? More half cut sandwiches? Half cut. What? Look at what? Oh, oh, you're swagging. You got a okay. lunch, right? Why are you showing me a kitchen? Oh, your collar. Your collar's good. You must have watched my so video. So she's showing her kids. Wow. So she flexed on you and said she know how to dress, and you don't. And you still the only one with pajamas on. Jalea got on her. Wait a minute, hold on. Prince Ali, Abby, Bobby. Looking at her. <laughs> Nation, you see this Aladdin shirt? Check this girl swag on She better have some purple shoes to match. What the? Get the shoes, Bruno. I mean, Blanco. I mean, look, champagne guys. I just woke up. Literally, my brain is everywhere. Oh, Sorry for just calling him all those names. That's his name, but there's champagne. Bruno right there. Probably why I was saying his name. He's slobbing there. Wait, we said um, Blanco and champagne. Where's Bruno? They do look the same and they act the same. They're both little. I mean, look at it. Look at it, dude. The gray one. Dude. Where's the gray They're one? They're both at? little minis, man. You know that little dog called Scooby Doo? The little Scrappy. One? Scrappy. Scrappy. Oh my gosh, she's too, she's young. too young. Nation, you don't know Scrappy off Scooby Doo? Scrappy! You definitely need to watch more Scooby Doo. There's a dog in there named Scrappy. Hold on. And he's little, just like this. And he's super mean. He always beating up every. Oh, Scrappy, yeah. You see this girl, bro? She don't got no brain. What? Let me, let me give you a YouTube, Google research real quick. Exactly. He's a little version. Yeah. Just like. What the? Hold on. Rhino. Rhino literally just broke in. There go Rhino. He opened it. Oh, Rhino, you scared me, boy. What's it? Uh oh, it's time oh, for the fight. Ding, ding, ding. I got my mind. Rhino's running. Ooh, he running. Still can't believe he got no refrigerator, man. This sucks, bro. No. What? I would imagine you still do. Oh. If you learn how to be humble, then you gonna have one, bro. CJ so cool is not as not. It's not humble no more. He just let all this stuff. I really want to go off, but I don't want to go off because. 
I don't know. He just need to humble himself. He he just need to humble himself. That's all I gotta say. Then all this stuff won't be happening to him. Don't be too quick to to um bash shit when you don't know what the fuck is going on or the history of shit. He just doing that shit just to flex on people. I heard he spent four million dollars on his fucking crib. The fuck? Hell no, nah, ain't no way in here I spent four million dollars on the damn crib. Nope. But let's get back to this video. Getting water right now. Oh, nice. I see you guys improvising. So Lee and I just is acting like the refrigerator is still there. Incarnation is being the refrigerator, pouring the water, and Jalea has no idea. Oh, wait, wait. Jalea just came from outside filling up her flask. Let's see if she can use the old refrigerator. Yeah, it's back. <laughs> How you gonna talk to the refrigerator, bro? Oh, there's some hot water. Of course it is, buddy. Feeling. I'm not feeling no refrigerator water that just came out of an imaginary refrigerator. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. How's that refrigerator life, girl? How come you ain't plugged in? Really, nigga? Who the heck was eating these waffles or whatever these things is and just left? They should. The waffles. Really, Jalele over there acting like she making a lunch, but she got her breakfast still sitting here getting cold with no syrup on it. What is wrong with you, man? Oh, snaps, um, I would like to have a side of nothing mixed with a double scoop of nothing. Yes. And give me some, uh, wall. Definitely. I just love some... how the way he talks to them kids. It's like he got his favorites. It's like Carnation is his favorite and shit. And he, the way how, I don't know. Jalea, I don't, the way I hate treat Jalea. Mmm, I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's get back to this video. Wall scrapings and uh, some electricity. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ew, whoa, they shit. You look crazy, girl. Hold on, I got it. Mulan? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what happened? She only wants one thing. Really? Nation, you don't like the other way? Yeah. Okay, we're like this. Girl, you feel me? Fine. My kids growing up, girls are trying to block me out the footage. It's cool up. Oh, you even got a flip up back here, girl. You look like an old school pimp. Pimp it ain't easy, is it? Really? It's an easy nation. It is? Oh, man. Let me just explain a little bit of things to you guys. When I first went into purchasing this house, of course, it was my first time buying a house. You guys already know that up until this point, we have been renting houses, which is perfectly fine. If you rent houses, I commend you. I'm proud of you. I'm gonna clap my hands for you. Renting houses is the best thing to do. Duh. If you can find the owner that's gonna actually keep up with the property. Now, what I'm doing now is called- But look though, but look though, CJ. You got a lot of money. Why you can't be your own crib? Why you can't be your own crib? You, you got all this money and shit. Stop buying crib. It's investing in, in building your own shit. They ain't gonna have to worry about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Use your motherfucking brain, bro. Use it. Rich people. I can see money make you dumb too, huh? Let's go back to, let's go back to this video. Buying a house, buying a house is a whole nother ballpark. It's crazy, okay? I'm gonna just say that. Anyway, Beautiful. my credit is good now. Everything that I need, I have. Everything that you're supposed to have to buy a house, I have. That being said, I can get any house I want. I don't have to settle for anything. That being said, this house right here, this house right here, we already know, not just us as the family, but the subscribers, we already know, this house is kinda old, okay? I'm not just gonna say kinda old, okay? It's old. Forget that. It was born in the 1990s or something like that. 1997, whatever. It's old. It's, it's about to be 2020, okay? Basically, that's millenniums ago. We ain't trying to be living in no house that's past tense. We need to be living in something that's futuristic. Say, 2016 or above type of thing, like a car. You don't really want to go get a 1997 Chevy, do you? Nope. Because the mug just gonna break down on you. And that's exactly what this house has done. <laughs> Yeah, so now, I don't list. film a lot of things, but when I be watching other YouTubers, for instance, my homie CJ on 32, he likes to say these words right here. Guys, I filmed the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I realized I was leaving out a lot of the ugly, man. I'm about to start showing you guys why I be so turned up, why I be feeling the way I feel, and why I think we need to move. That's right, I said it. I think 
we need to move. This house started off as a fairy tale. But then once we got up in this mug, it started out becoming a nightmare. Literally, I can't even sleep up in this house. But we ain't gonna get started. We just gonna show you guys what tipped the iceberg. Cause of course, when the Titanic was shipping, everything was good until they crashed that freaking iceberg. So I'm gonna show you the iceberg right now. I knew you guys wasn't ready for that. That's right, this is the same house. This is the kitchen and that is where the refrigerator used to be. But as you can see, it ain't That's nowhere around me. Like, I'm not hiding the refrigerator. This ain't no brand. But Champagne, did, did you eat it? Video. I don't think so. But we did hide it because the first day we moved in here, it was broke. Oh, she's right. She's right. We did not tell you guys, but the first day we moved in the house, the refrigerator broke down on us, man, which led us to doing things like this. Now, this is the bad God, I don't and like ugly. I mean, like Humble I said, yourself. I usually don't show God you guys trying to this humble you. because it's not you guys' business. And I, don't I feel like God is trying to humble you, bro. He, put, he putting you through these situations to humble yourself, bro. He is too fucking flashy. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh, uh, yeah. CJ so cool, it's so flashy. He just in the humble himself. I think God put him through these, put him through these situations to humble himself. Cause he is not humble at all. I say what I said, but let's get back to this video. I don't want you guys to think that we're not living our best life, which we are, because a house doesn't determine how you're living, all right? Now this is what we gotta go through right now. We gotta live outside in a garage refrigerator where literally the kids are in and out of here all day, dropping juice, sodas be falling. It's crazy. And not only that, this part is totally missing. It was like, bruh, this is crazy. We out here taking food out next to an old washing machine, fireworks and a John Deere. Obviously the car in here, it's all kind of carbon dioxide and our food is right there. Air, bro. Now, let me show you guys the good. The good too part much. about all this is the owner he is a lot better than most owners. So I'm not going to stop bash him. This is about the house. He did buy and Probably. supply. He need to stop fucking complaining, bro. Damn. Complain too much. Like, damn, bro. Stop complaining. It's a lot of people that want to be in your position right now, bro. Stop fucking complaining. You complain. Ugh. It's like a... Uh, you complain like a little female. Damn. But let's talk about this video. A brand new refrigerator. But as you guys know, we've been in here for a month already. And this refrigerator is not connected inside the house. Now, the other refrigerator that was in the house, the brown one, you know, the good looking one, that did work as far as pouring water in the cups. And, it, and it, honestly, I ain't gonna leave a lie. If you put something in there that you didn't really care about, like, you know, a little water, a cup of water or something like that, it might stay chilled, but it's not gonna get cold. And that's crazy because this house costs $4.4 .4 million. Now, when you're talking about a house, it costs four point fucking four million bucks. What else? What I tell y'all? Four point fucking four million dollars, bro. You should invest that shit in building your own shit, bro. Boy, the motherfucker, the motherfucker that's one of throw that money out, bro. Making so much money. But let's get back to this video. $4.4 million. Man, the refrigerator should have an app on it. It should be able to check my YouTube stats and all kind of stuff like that. I mean, literally, when I go in there and try to use the freaking jacuzzi, I already told y'all in the other video, I didn't show you guys, but I was having trouble trying to work it. I wasn't having trouble trying to work it. The freaking stuff is old and it was breaking down. Now, I don't want to bash nobody, and I definitely don't want to make myself look dumb. I mean, I am the one that got the house, right? So who's liable for this? Me. I'm liable for this. But I got to let you guys know, if we actually move it's a whole lot of things tied up into it it ain't got nothing to do with Jalea and her school because yes the last video did show Jalea got very emotional at her school as any 12 year old going to the sixth grade oh, wow this don't have nothing to, to do with Jalea bro this don't have nothing to do. and people we cleared it no we cleared the city title bro we cleared the city title that you say your dream at home turned into nightmare bro we ain't, we not we click the cut. We want to see what's going on. We not we didn't click to to see. Well, they didn't click it to see. Nothing was going on with your lid, bro. They don't really care about that, bro. They care about what's going on with your career, bro. That's why really more people click us, bro. Bro, well, let's get back to this video.
brain for the first time should. When a bunch of people are crowding around you, it should never feel good unless you win a fight or something like and you won. Good. That's different. But this case is different too. We're not moving because of the school district. We're moving because of the house in general. I can show you guys a hundred different things right now that the will urge, probably break bro. your heart about how this house is falling apart right on us. And guess who's liable? Me. That means I'm just buying a house and I gotta repair and fix everything. Bruh, I already wanted to make it look new. But now it's like I gotta buy the whole house all over again, which I'm not prepared to do. That is not a good investment. I'm letting you guys know right now. Too much, when you get to buy your bro. first house, talk to somebody. Seek guidance. Don't go out there and try to do it on your own. Because trust me, there's a lot of mistakes to be made, and you do not want to make those mistakes. And let's not mention how many times we had to sit in the dark because oh, the power wow. went out. Wow. Because the generator box keeps overheating. Wow. Because it's so cold. Turn the lights off. Vegas. We have so Turn the damn lights off and keep them bitches off. You, you said they live in Vegas. That's understandable. We can overheat, but keep them bitches off. And I, they not they not humble. Y'all complain. Y'all complain. Y'all complains too damn much for me, bro. I won't be able to say that, bro. They complains too much. This 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 so many times been sitting in the dark, so many times I couldn't cook, but we don't tell you guys those things because we're <laughs> embarrassed. Uh, I mean, I... Why y'all embarrassed for? Why? Why y'all embarrassed? People go through that shit every fucking day. It's people that go days without... Days without um life and shit. You some, do y'all do, do say them complaining? No. What the fuck you talking about? Because they humble? Something that y'all need to be. Y'all ass ain't motherfucking humble. Humble y'all stuff, yo. It's, it's people that went through that's going through worse shit than y'all. Now y'all want to want to complain. Oh my license stuck going on. Damn, y'all y'all can't fucking live without no fucking lights. The fuck, get some candles and shit. Boy, that, bro, let's get back to this video. That we're embarrassed, it's not our problems. We should it's not our fault. When you move into a house and then the first day the power goes out, that's not your fault. You shouldn't even be embarrassed. When you move into right. the house and the first day the refrigerator breaks down, that's not your fault. You shouldn't be embarrassed. But say you see they these right here. I'm talking about that doo-doo right there. I'm talking about these arcades. If you guys notice, we can't play the arcades no more. You want to know why? Because when we cut the arcades on, the whole house break down. Now I've already Googled it. These arcades, they don't have a lot of voltage. These things are super small. They're like a light bulb beats light bulb light bulb uh, they don't take a whole bunch of power but according to the owner if you plug these up down here you're gonna blow the house up so and you know we never watch tv right there too you want to know why the we never watch tv right there because ain't no power on that wall this don't even work man this stuff goes on and on and on now of course i told you guys about the wi-fi but that's literally all because it affected you and the way that i was able to post and i didn't want you guys to be in the dark on that so i had to shed light on that topic and besides it's just wi-fi so <laughs> Do you know you got you, you can use your phone to upload videos, bro? You can export that shit to your phone. Or look, you can send that shit to your Gmail or email from your computer to your phone. I, I hook those shit up together, man. Oh my god, they complain too, complain too much, bro. And they're making excuses about. Oh Lord Jesus. Let's get back to this video. That's livable, right? I can live with bad Wi Fi, but I can't live in the dark. Not only that, royalty forgot the most valuable, important thing of it all. We was actually in that heat. I had to go to sleep in my own sweat. It felt like I was sleeping in a water bed. I don't know if you ever been in one before, but a water bed ain't got no bone, no backbone, no structure. It's just like this all night. I literally was drowning. It was so hot up in here. The whole house has ran off that Duh, you room. In Vegas. I told you about the server room. That mug is old school. It don't work. Nothing is controlled by the lights in it. All these RTI systems, let me tell you what an RTI system is. It's supposed to be an iPad set up on the wall in a whole bunch of different rooms that you can control the lights with. You can control the climate with, the climate being the air and the heat. You're supposed to do a whole lot of things like look through the cameras and all that. But guys, when I tell you these things are all throughout the house and they don't work, 
It's embarrassing, man. Like, it look good. Let's not mention the TV don't work either. Oh, I already told them about the TV. You guys want to know why we never watch TV in here? Because this TV don't work. Now, you guys probably think I'm making this up. Hold on. This controller supposed to operate the um, TV. We're going to go to video sources. We're going to watch direct TV. Now, it's saying to be announced. It's on the TV. Look, hold on. You hear that, right? You hear that, right? Let me mute it, though, because... Wait, it, it muted itself. Oh, there you go, there you go. I'm gonna mute it. That's, that's what we got. I'm gonna unmute it. You see? This is the channel we get. The sound is coming through the freaking ceiling, but we can't see yes, nothing. God's gonna now, humble who's y'all, that? motherfuckers, It was like that the bro. first day we moved in. But you know what y'all I'm Y'all not humble. I'm blaming on them freaking bricks Bruh. that it's sitting on, man. Who sits a TV on two bricks? Man, that's worse than four flats on the Cadillac. I can't believe it, man. But you know what's crazy? Champagne don't mind. So, you know, no, nah, we, we not gonna fix it. Oh yeah, we're gonna fix the situation, you're right. We gonna fix it, we got this. And my point of making this video for those of you asking, why is he making this video and shedding the light on all this negativity when he's supposed to be positive vibe? Obviously, me personally, I'm an impulsive buyer, which means when I see something, if I like it, if I think it'll benefit me, I'm gonna buy it. Even if it's a bad idea, if it's a bad investment, if it's a waste of money, if a million people versus one says this is stupid, I'm still the type of person that says, well, I like it and I'll buy it. Well, that's not smart. I'm trying to tell all you guys and help everyone out there that's just like me or coming up just like me don't buy things just because you feel like at the moment you need it or you want it or it's good you need that to actually deep, you need to actually put some deep thought into it you need to ask people you need to do research you need to do google whatever you need to do but don't just jump into a situation because you know you can afford it and you know that it just looks so good oh my god that's basically like this dating a girl only because she looks good and then once you get in a relationship she doesn't have anything she doesn't bring nothing to the table she's super bogus you hate her you hate every day and you guys never do anything with just, your life just fade it. away that's the same situation that i got myself itself. in with the house except now i seek knowledge and i found someone that's actually going to help me and lawyer and he's going to get me out of this situation guys because i I made the mistake, and that's what it is. I made the mistake, but it's because I'm a kid from Gary, Indiana, a place where no one knows anything. I ain't gonna say no one. I'm sure there's a lot of people that know a lot of things in Gary, but they ain't teach me. That's what I'm trying to say. I grew up without a father, okay? How many of you guys can say that? Most of you got your father or a stepfather. Or... I don't got no father. My dad didn't be in my life since I was six years old. I see my dad from time to time. He he does, he complains too much. He come up with with, with excuses, bro. I'm from, I'm from Chicago. There's a lot of people out here that's don't that's fatherless. You know what I'm saying? Some people father either dead dead or don't want to be bothered with them no more. Let's go back to this video some type of father figure i had my great grandmother and my grandmother they didn't know anything but that they owned the house that they lived in and they didn't tell me anything about that because they bought their house in the 50s which is super different it's 2020 i needed some help i found some help and i swear to you guys it's within so this video that. i'm gonna show it's you the type of stuff that we're good. capable of getting now i know before i showed you a house that was like six million dollars and it was tight we weren't capable of getting there. I ain't trying to jump into that boat. So we won't be showing you houses like that. But we will be showing you houses that are new and that are actually efficient and capable of living in. You know what I'm saying? I need to be able to live in my house. I ain't trying to stay in a hotel because the air don't work and it's the middle of the summer and it's 200 degrees in my house because we cooking on the stove and now the freaking GFI just switched and triggered and now the stove cut off and now my wife's food is messed up and my kid was in a movie theater playing Fortnite but the whole movie theater shut off because like I said, the GFI which triggered and really what that means is you're overpowering the system it's putting too many apps on it's too much going on I didn't sign up for that. I'm an entertainer. I'm a YouTuber. I make people laugh. I make videos for positive reasons only. I'm not in the business to learn how to buy houses and fix houses and all that. I would love to upgrade a house 
by basically changing some floor and some walls, painting some stuff, but I ain't trying to be fixing a house. Like literally, that's exactly what we're being forced to do. And I know this video is probably super long. You might think it's rambling, but it's the truth and it's what we're going through and it's kind of holding us back. So we got to let it out. We don't want to be doing this in the dark because if something goes wrong, you guys have okay, to be wondering what too. happened and how the heck did we get here? And just to give you guys a little bit more insight on why I actually used my impulsive you know, decisions to get into this situation. So cool, man, all right? Let's take a step back and remember exactly what was going on before we move. If you were watching our videos, then you already remember the pool was green. That was a very small issue at the house, but it seemed very large because it was the only thing we shared with you guys. We didn't tell you things like when Kamari came over and used the bathroom in the princess bathroom and flushed the toilet, it flooded the whole entire basement. I have pictures of all this in my phone, but I didn't think it was smart to show you guys on YouTube. Why? Because it would make me look dumb. It would make my family look dumb and it would make us look incompetent. You guys that know about purchasing homes and all this will be laughing at us saying things like, ah, oh, he doesn't know anything about buying a home. Oh. Uh, I didn't want to put myself on blast, but now Fuck it's them. too late. Forget putting myself on blast. I'm exposing myself. Yes, I did know how. What the? Who calling me, man? So I showed you guys the refrigerator. Man, I, I showed you guys too. what we're currently going through. Not all of it, just a little bit. But I'm gonna sum things up by saying this: Do not move off your first thought. All right? You might think something is a good idea to do in the beginning, That's but true. you have to do further research to find out if it's actually a good idea or not before moving forward. Me personally, I'm gonna tell you what happened. I was in so cool land and low key, high key, whatever key, all the keys on the keyboard. I felt like I needed to get to my Mark family out of the situation we were in. Neverland, they weren't taking so care cool of us. Land. I rushed into another situation and basically I ended up being worse than the situation I was already in. My grandmother used to tell me things like this all the time. Don't jump out of the pot into the fire. Sometimes things might be hot, but guys, it's best to ride that out because if we were still at So Cool Land, maybe things would have been a lot better. At least my mistakes wasn't as expensive as they are now. Moving into this house has cost me so much money, guys, you wouldn't even want to know. How come someone keeps calling me, man? Anyway, before I was really interrupted again, guys, people just keep calling me. That's why I had to get dressed. We about to go. I told you earlier in this video, I will be showing you guys what type of options we really could be working with on really type of owning type of stuff. Not no written, leasing, to own, none of that. I'm Bruh. My phone is blowing up. You don't understand how many people I have working with me now and everyone's trying to fix my situation because I got us in some real deep doo-doo. Anyway, that's the only reason why I'm telling you guys this. Or we would have kept sweeping it under the rug. Like we swept everything well, under the rug. Back, it's so cool. Like we never told you when we were really having real life things that were messed up. We just didn't post. That's why we weren't posting every single day when we lived at So Cool Land. If you notice, as of lately, I've been posting every day because I thought all of my issues were over. But now we're running into issues again. Yeah. And instead of just not posting, I'm about to fill you guys in and humble, show you guys the bad stuff, and the ugly, bro. like my boy CJ 32s always say. Therefore, I never have to miss a day of posting. You never have to miss a day of my life. You get the whole life, everything. That's the real life, all right? If you guys want the real life, then of course, all you gotta do is keep subscribing to the YouTube channel. It's free to subscribe. All you gotta do yeah, is smack that million. subscribe button. Anyway, drop a like on this video to encourage me that you guys are riding out with me and not against me. Because yes, I admit it's my fault. I made some mistakes by signing some contracts and getting myself into a house that ain't even worth moving into. But they scammed I did also you, bro. let you guys know, making it be clear that they I scammed. am owning up to my own mistakes. So drop a like on this video to help me out because I already feel bad and Stop I don't want to feel thirsty. worse. Anyway, we got to go see the new house. Come on. Guys, since everyone already has their address, I know what and what not to film. That being said, I'm not going to even show you guys the front of this house, but I will show you, you a should. little bit of the inside. Never the show people the personal you question. Stay, especially Do you, you think did. we should get this house instead? Here we go, guys. Okay, I like, it. I like it already. Whoa, whoa. Holy moly. Royalty's already inside, guys, but as you can see, this home is way more newer. Check out this door. Oh, nice. This is the, oh my, check out the shades in the living room. Literally going up as I walk in, leading to what? The, pool, the swimming pool. pool. The this is what you want to see when you're a YouTuber and you have my type of subscribers. You want to see this type of fireplace. I thought I had a cool fireplace, but nice. this is a cool fireplace. 
Look at these stairs, man. Ooh, Do you know nice. what kind of stairs these is? These are marble leather stairs. Do you know how expensive and hard to find this is? Now, of course, you're used to the shiny marble, so everyone expects that. But have you ever saw leather marble? I don't think so. Yeah, See that, guys? It's so cool, man. We have to literally physically open the door, but it is automated in this house. This is a straight yeah, up 2018 might, built sense. masterpiece. Now, of course, you're going to ask, where are your kids going to be? Where are your dogs going to be? Let me show you. First of all, you know my daughter, Carnation. She loves playing the piano. Carnation is going to be right here playing on the other side of this piano. Bruno's going to be swimming like he always does. Rhino's going to be somewhere oh, laying always, down because he's lazy. And of course, know, Champagne's oh going to be right here or probably right here trying to find somewhere to pee and I'll have to clean it up. Now, guys, I'm going to also show you this. And this is going to be the last thing. This is an elevator. Now, you know what our elevator used to nice. look like. It's so cool, man. But this is what a real elevator is supposed to look like. Now, I trust this elevator. I don't trust so cool, lands. I can see Carnation now. Wow, look at the mechanisms. You can actually see it now. This is what a piano looks like. Boston. Hold on, let's make a new rabbit. That was kind of nice, I can't lie. And now that we're back at home, you see what we got to work with over here. I mean, I can't even throw shade at the house. Obviously, I saw it. You already did again, already, bro. But I did not know that the house actually was going to be shutting down on us. And by shutting down, I mean things like the power being messed up or not being able to support the actual stuff that we brought to the house. Just plugging in PlayStations and stuff, man. That being said, guys, you saw the new house. Bruno's over here. He's crying because he hates moving. He doesn't get it. He doesn't understand. But nevertheless, guys, we cannot live our life based off of our dog's decision or if we have enough space to park our cars. We actually have to start making the smart decision for our kids' future. If we're going to be buying houses and purchasing houses, then we're supposed to be able to pass those things down to our kids and that they can pass down to their kids or sell or do whatever they want to do. But when you get yourself into lease situations and rent-to-own situations and things like that, that and then the contract doesn't help you out, it just helps the owner, you actually need to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into exactly. before you do things like that and that's exactly. the moral of the story guys so mm -hmm. all that being said you saw all what we're working with today that's today's video guys whether you like it or not it's exactly what we're going through i felt like i needed to share it with you guys hopefully you guys are on my side like i said earlier anyway i gotta go get ready to pick up the kids from this school the school i do like i mean i can't lie i love the kids it reminds me of me when i was growing up it's the same type of environment why wouldn't, I was why used wouldn't to you let your kids but bro? Why we didn't work you? as hard to still be in the same environment i grew up in we want to move and move forward and be able to show our kids a different type of lifestyle so that maybe their upbringing can help them in the future so that they won't be like me. You know what I'm saying? I'm still making hood mistakes because I have a hood mentality. But if my kids grow up without that hood mentality, maybe they won't have to make those same hood mistakes. Anyway, I'm out. Peace. This man, he complains too much. He talks too much. He just need to humble himself, bro. I don't know. He just he just not the same no more. He he, he so judgmental. Talk about he don't love his kid. Why why wouldn't you love your kids, bro? Why wouldn't you, bro? Man, he just in the humble. So I think God put made him do this shit because because he trying to make him humble himself and shit. And he was just all over the place with this video. Like, he was saying some shit that, that don't got shit to do with this video. Motherfuckers clicked click the video because they see the title. He was just talking about it. He was all over the place with this shit. This video would have been so much longer. But yeah, um, if you like to give a thumbs up, you're gonna give a thumbs down. Y'all know why we don't care. It's just YouTube. If you want to see more reaction videos or any other videos to me, make sure you guys go on my channel and take my videos. And, also, don't forget to follow up my social media. We're right here, right here, right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, subscribe. See you guys in the next video.